Hi Sonam. Hi. Sorry to barge in like this. Oh, it's okay. We have some questions for you. Shall we begin? Right now? Yep. Give me a second. We can do that while we ask you the questions. Okay. What's the first thing you did this morning? Um, I drank water and I woke my best friend up who stayed the night with me, Shaila. How much time does it take for you to get ready? 45 minutes. What's the last thing you did before sleeping? Um, if my husband's around, then I give him a kiss. Who's the first person you call when you're sad? Mm, depends on who picks up first. Cuz um they're both bad with their phones, Ria or Anand. Who's the first person you call when you're happy? Ria or Anand, whoever picks up first. Are you a mommy's girl or a daddy's princess? Mm. I speak to my mom a lot, but when I want something, I'm a daddy's princess. What's always on your bedside? Water and a photograph of my husband and I. A place you want to live other than Mumbai? Well, right now London cuz my husband's there all the time, so I want to be with him. If you had to pick one, mountain or the beach? I would say um a mountain surrounded by beaches. Uh, what's your next vacation destination? Bali, I'm going there for New Year's. What's your favorite cuisine? Thai or Japanese? And your regular room service order looks like fruits? Not really, french fries. <laughs> one thing that's always in your fridge? Chocolate. Are you a good cook? Um, I'm sure if I learn how to, I would be excellent. I'm good at everything. What's your hidden talent? I can actually um diagnose diseases weirdly. I I can. I'm not I haven't studied medicine. I'm just like a high school graduate, but I'm pretty good at diagnosing like illnesses. What's your favorite movie? Um well, I guess Godfather. According to you, your best performance? My performance? Yeah. <sighs> Khoobsurat or Nija or Padman. I'm confused. I think I get better with every film. What's the last TV series that you binge watched? The last TV series I binge wa- watch, uh, House MD. I really like that. And um I like my dad's 24 um that he did. It was fantastic. All right. What would you prefer, shopping with girlfriends or Netflix and chill? I like shopping by myself. It's like it's like therapy for me. Um and I like watching Netflix by myself. Um but I like chilling with my girlfriends, so. If your life was a movie, what would the title be? Key conflict. If not an actor, what profession would you choose? Well, a librarian, but since libraries are redundant right now, I I think I wouldn't have a job, so I would have to direct or write. What does your typical girls' night look like? <sighs> Sitting together, gossiping, listening to a lot of music, or going for like a concert or something. What's the one item that you've been collecting and hoarding? Clothes, lots of them. <laughs> If you could read someone's mind for 15 minutes, whose mind would you read? Mm. Well, I would say Donald Trump. Mhm. Which board game brings up the worst in you? I'm very competitive, so any game brings out the best and the worst in me. What's the worst idea you have ever heard? Getting a bomb. <laughs> Who's the most fashionable person you know? Ria Kapoor, my sister. Which item makes you look instantly chic? I think my watch. I I love wearing this watch. It's it's my favorite thing. IWC gave this to me and um it's I wear it all the time. I think you see it in a lot of my photographs and stuff. It's chic. I I feel watches have become such an amazing accessory to have because it's become like jewelry now. I love it. A fashion trend you will never try? Um I don't like this like whole wig situation where people are matching their wigs to their clothes like a fluorescent green wig or a fluorescent pink wig with like fluorescent clothes and it's just not I don't know why people are doing that. What's the one fashion trend you tried and regretted the most? Uh bangs. <laughs> Perm. I don't know why all these weird things that I've done to my hair. What's the first app that you open on your phone? WhatsApp, Instagram or Snapchat? I really like Snapchat, but um I'm lazy, so I just use Instagram all the time. What's your favorite emoji? Um Anand likes to call it the so- Soji, <laughs> but I think Sonam ji is a little more Indian and cuter. But right now Apple's done this thing where you can actually have your own emoji, Memoji or whatever make made out of your face. I think it's pretty cute. But otherwise I like this. 
Who should everyone be following on Instagram? Me. <laughs> or <laughs> IWC. <laughs> Who is the one person on Instagram that you stalk? Uh, well, I stalk um, IWC India to see what are the new watches that are coming out. I love collecting watches as well. And, um, and those are the only watches I like to wear. Or I stalk Anand just to see where he is and what he's doing because he's traveling all over the world all the time. What's the worst rumor you've heard about yourself? Well, recently, it wasn't bad. I've heard worse things. But I think right now is a friend of mine who's a very good designer uh, fell sick. And someone said, oh, she was making too many free clothes for Sonam. And that's why she fell sick. It was very bitchy. So a job you think you would actually suck at? Uh, being an accountant. I- I'm really bad at managing money. And what's the one thing that you hate that everyone loves? Being diplomatic. Who's your girl crush? Who's my girl crush? Um, Kate Blanchett. She's also an IWC ambassador, so I keep bumping into her all the time. And I try to act very cool, but I, don't, I think I'm a bit of a nerd when I see her. <laughs> we are going to ask you to do something. Okay. What's your favorite or signature dance move? Guys, you have to do it with me if I'm doing it. All right, let's stand up for this. Well, there are two. There's the one from Prem Ratan Dhanpai, which is like that. Mm-hmm. And the other one is from, uh, which made me like famous. I think it was Masakali, which is like that. I don't know. Why do people give me these weird dance moves? Well, we think it's cute. Okay. <laughs> Can you say a line in a foreign language? I am speaking in a foreign language, guys. It's English. <laughs> um, besides English, what other foreign language would you use? Um, Spanish. Uh, mi nombre es Sonam. Oh, does that mean my name is Sonam? Uh, yeah. <laughs> silliest nickname ever given to you? The silliest nickname ever given to me uh, by my husband, Lola. I, it's, I think it's silly and lovely as well because um, he thinks I look like Lola Bunny because I'm tall and I like playing basketball and long legs. <laughs> What's your favorite song to blast in a car? My favorite song to blast in the car? Anything by Beyonce, Rihanna or Michael Jackson or Britney Spears. I'm, don't... Please don't ask. It's what I grew up to. All right. (laughs) So I see you're getting a call right now. It's Priya Tanna, Editor-in-Chief, Vogue India. And she has some questions for you. Okay. Hey, Sona. Hi. What's the best gift you've ever received? Um, The best gift that I've ever received was a letter that Anand wrote to me when I was 31, telling me he loved me and he wanted to spend the rest of his life with me. That was like two years ago. And the best gift you've given? The best gift I've given, um, the best gift that I've given, I think I gave my mom and my mother-in-law both uh, these IWC Da Vinci watches, which were from the Jubilee Collection. Um, I think they're collector's pieces, and um, I bought those from IWC because there are only 50 of them in the world, and I gave it to them. They were very happy. What's the first thing you notice about people? Their eyes. And tell me, what's your favorite chocolate? I mean, anything that's Swiss is good, um, but I also like Bouja Bouja, which is this vegan chocolate. So anything Swiss or Bouja Bouja. Otherwise, I don't like. I don't like any other chocolate. Great. Thanks, Sonam. Catch you soon. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Sonam. So the next question: uh-huh. When do you feel the most beautiful? When my husband looks at me. If you could steal one quality from someone, who and what would it be? Um, what would be the quality that I would steal from someone? Well, I think, um, you know, Anand is very meticulous and I think I would, I, he thinks before he does anything and I, I just have no filter and I do everything from here, but sometimes it's good to think. So I think that. What advice would you give to your younger self while growing up as a woman? That there's nobody going to come and save you. You need to save yourself. Name an icon you look up to. Um, my mom and dad, I think they're icons for me and the world. Okay. Uh, who's the hero in your life this year? Who's the hero? Every woman and man who stood up for themselves in the Me Too movement. Absolutely. What should every woman know how to do? Stand up for herself and have self-respect. All right. We are at the last question, Sonam. Thank you. <laughs> Where are you off to after this? I'm off to do my job and not answer any more questions. (laughs) (laughs) All right, we'll leave you to that. Bye-bye.